One of the subjects we like to talk about on Live It Up is being organized. And I know I need help. Hopefully you do too, because with us now is Vinny Giacalone, and he is the organized guy. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Good. What makes you different? Many things, but what's a few things when it comes to the organizational world? Well, uh, I actually get involved in a lot of my projects that involve some kind of physical labor, which most of my uh, other organizers, my competitors, don't really get too much involved in doing. And specifically what I mean by that is that uh, I've had a lot of clients that have asked me to put together bookcases or cabinetry for them. I'll actually go out, you know, help them pick something out. I'll go buy it for them once they've, once they've approved it. And I'll come back and I'll put it together because at the end of the day, it all leads to some kind of organizational, you know, solution to them. So you don't mind a little elbow grease, a little sweat and tears, no, right? No, not at all. Makes Excellent. them happy and, you know, I, I'll put up shelves. I actually have a customer that wants me to put up some pictures. So it's not organizing, but again, you know, it's something to help them out and I'll, I'll be more than happy to do that for them. Now, how did you start your own business? I, I've always been organized pretty much all my life and, and it's for years. My friends, my family, I've done pr projects for them and they've always encouraged me that they thought this would be something that, you know, I should get involved in. So I actually looked into it about three or four years ago, and it was a viable business, something I wanted to do. And, and this past year, I decided to take the leap and follow my passion and my dreams and, and my vision for it, and I jumped into it. And, and I even great. asked you when we met, I'm like, are you a Virgo? You know, because most Virgos <laughs> dot their I's and cross their T's. Do you remember me asking you mm -hmm, that? Yes. <laughs> so uh, prior to this, you know, what were some of the um, positions that you held that you feel like might have translated skill set for you? I have a, a background actually in consulting, so in law, by and large in that, in what's gets involved is I'm doing customer service in that venue, and it's no different than what I do now. I, I, a lot of my job involves now, when, when I meet with a customer, but to be a prospective customer, is to sit with them and, and listen to what they want. You know, listen to their issue, what's their problem, you know, what are they concerned about, what do they want resolved at the end of the day, which is pretty much what I've done in my background as a consultant, so I'm still doing the same thing. Now, what are some of the current projects that you're working on? Uh, You've got a variety of things, but let's go through a few It's got a wealth of, of yeah, I got okay. a wealth of things. Um, the, right now, the most current project I'm working on is I'm actually working with an elderly couple. Very nice couple. Uh, they've been in their home for 50 years, and they literally have 50 years worth of stuff in their home. And I've been spending the last several weeks with them, helping them clean out their basement, making decisions on what, what's junk, what to donate, what they're going to keep, and helping them clean out their basement. That's fabulous. Now, do you, um, like you said, you shop for some items for mm -hmm. them, but uh, where do you start? You know, do you start in like one corner of the room and just kind of like work your way up to the staircase? Well, like, how do you start a big project? Every job is a little bit different. So if I stick to the basement project, what, what we did was I come over and I do, my first job is I do an assessment. So I meet with my customer and we go to visit the room or rooms that they want to go through. And what I'll do is we'll start talking. And that's how I get my information. We'll start talking about what they want. And in the case of the basement, it was it really didn't matter where we started because it all has to be done. But as I kind of looked around the room, you know, I, I suggested to them, well, let's start in this, in this section. And what I did with them, um, and I do it with other customers too, is that once we pick that spot, we stay there until it's finished. So in this case, we're working around the room because it's the only way that, you know, it's really the way that the best way to be able to show that there's progress being made on the, on the project. That's a good point. I get distracted. So it looks like the Tasmanian devil sometimes when I clean because I'll start with the closet. I pull everything out of my closet and then I make more of a mess sometimes in the process of cleaning. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you avoid that? Like, you know, like taking everything apart only to put it back together. Uh, I re it's re it really is a challenge, but the point, you know, but why I wouldn't go through with them is, is it's really a matter of, of not rushing through it because in organizing, we're not looking to just rush through the process. We're looking to work through the steps and be able to keep on task. And, and, and you know, I've had my customers do the same thing. I work through it and they'll do that. They all get distracted. So they all have that same little commentary <laughs> and they all get distracted. But my job, part of my job is to kind of be the taskmaster to keep you back on track. So if I see them going off straight on one side, it's, you know, I, mean, I have to no, no, you know, identify that and say, oh, uh, Let's come back and let's stay on here and, and keep them on focus. I heard somebody um, once said that you're kind of like a coach. You coach people absolutely. through the process. A absolutely. Right? Yeah, it's, it's tough. <laughs> like, they're like, Vinny is like relentless and like you're kind, but mm -hmm. you're like, you know, firm. I, I go in and I tell my customers all the same thing. My job is not here to make you throw your stuff away or get rid of it or whatever it is. I want to help, help you identify what the process is in order to get, you know, to achieve your goal of getting your, your space cleaned up. I'm gonna push you a little bit if you bring me in and, and you tell me these are things that you want me to do and I don't see that you're doing it. I will push you in that direction to get it done. But ultimately at the end of the day, you know, it is still your stuff and I'll just make it the best it can. Now, do you ever um, help them sell their items, like set up for tag sales and things like that? I can that? do that, absolutely. Okay. Yep. 
I have organizations that I work with if they want to donate it, or unless they have some place. You know, again, it's the same thing. I'll, I'll ask them if they if they get in that situation. Do you have a place that you want to donate to? You know, I have a church. I got Salvation Army. What you know, whatever organization they want to use. If they don't, then I'll find something for them. And your profession, a lot of times, um, is more female skewed a little bit, Correct. right? So, how is it being the organized guy? It's great. <laughs> I have that little niche of, like I said, I I've met many of the other um, female organizers, my competitors. And they un they know what I'm doing, and they think it's great. Yeah. They think it's a great little hook that because they've told me they're not really interested in getting involved in that physical aspect of, you know, again putting the cabinets or hanging up the shelves. It's like a handyman and an organizer in the same. Pretty much, I, I always I always looked at that difference of the Home Depot versus the container store, and you kind of get it all in one package with me. There you go. Mm -hmm. um, and what makes you happiest about your job? The end result. Okay. The end result. It, it's it's a lot of times sitting back after I'm done with the project. Because I, I, I always try to share my vision with my clients in terms of what it's going to look like when it's done. And, and people have that challenge of not being able to see that. But once it's all said and done and we could step back and look at it and they go, oh. And, I, and I've had that happen more, more often than not. And speaking of challenges, one of the things we like to talk about on Live It Up is embracing uh, the essence of life. Mm -hmm. you know? So you personally, what have some of the challenges been that you've overcome in your business? Oh, uh, it, it was you know, the, the, the challenge of starting a business. You know, and, and going out and building a customer base and, and, and going out and finding clients and people that would, you know, give me the opportunity to come into their home because my business is very emotionally based. You know, I'm, I'm asking people to take a, a leap, you know, a faith of let me into your home. I'm not going to do it to embarrass you. I'm not looking to post your name all over the Internet. I'm really coming in because I'm passionate about what I do. I love helping people get organized and, and, and whatever accomplish whatever goal they're looking for. So that's probably been the biggest challenge, and it's always going to be. And you <clears> did <throat> say that you would help me get rid of my storage unit. Yes, I will. <sighs> I'll, we're going to have fun with yours. We're going to have fun with mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Vinny, for being here. So oh, Thank you very much for having I me. I really, really appreciate, appreciate you. Yes. Okay, so stay tuned for more, and I promise I am going to show authentic pictures of my before and after storage unit. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Live it up.